Hello, kids. Oh, okay, I got the survey right here. I'm going to go through down the list and answer the best I can. Um, number one. When was the first time you actually heard of Linux? I would say it'd have to be the summer of 1999 when I first stumbled upon uh, Red Hat. I believe it was 6.0 or 6.1. Hedwig, I think it was called. I tried installing it and I couldn't figure shit out <laughs> at all. I was going back and forth between that and uh, Windows 98. Um, question number two. Do you... Oh, do you ha or have you used Linux? If yes, for how long? I think I've been running Linux off and on since the year 2000 or so. But I think it's been my dominant desktop since probably 05? 04, 05? Um, what was the first Linux to show you used? Red Hat. First it was Red Hat, then it was Mandrake then Mandriva, then Linspire, then Debian, um, then Ubuntu. I think it's pretty much went that way. Um, how was your first time Linux experience? Well, it installed smoothly, very fast, and I couldn't get on the internet because it didn't recognize my network driver at the time, which was Red Hat. Other than that, it was, it was nice and solid. <laughs> Do you agree that Linux can effectively do all the daily computing tasks that an average user would do? Yes and no. Um, Linux really is, when you get down to the pork and beans of it, it is a bit of a more of a power user type interface. However, when you're talking about uh, just surfing the web, listening to music and all that kind of stuff, yes. Yes, very much so. But only if it's pre-installed and has all the codecs and whatnot ready, ready to go. Um, so if you get by it pre-installed on, say, like a Dell, then probably, for the most part, yes. Um, let's see. What is your favorite GNOME Linux distro and why? Well, Ubuntu, I think, would be the best because it's the, it's the easiest to set up, and I know all the little tweaks about it. What is your favorite KDE Linux distro? Well, I'm not really a KDE user, but uh, I assume the smoothness I get from uh, uh, Ubuntu would be in Kubuntu 2. What is the Linux desktop environment you do you like? GNOME. GNOME's my first favorite, then after that would be Fluxbox. And then uh, LD... LXD? That one's cool too, but... Yeah. Linux is A, Pro, B, Noob, C, both. Well, both. Depending on the setup. Um, what are sometimes things that Linux gives you that other OS's don't? I think it's a license to put anywhere and everywhere on any hardware I want. I like Linux because I can put it on an ARM chip, a PowerPC chip. Um, if I find an old laptop in the garbage, chances are, no matter what it is, I can run it on there, you know. Um, I'm, I'm in love with the brand new little Beagle board. That thing's cool, little ARM proc. Um, WGTVs. Uh, have MIPS chips you can run on there. I like that number one the best. Secondly, though, is ease of setup. Um, what are your favorite Linux applications? Well, I like Caden Live a lot. Um, the GIMP, um, Inkscape, Our Door is probably one of my favorite of all times. The music recording program and uh, Terminal. <laughs> I should say. Bash, I guess would be the right way to say that one. Um, what are some of the things that you would like to improve in Linux? Um, I think uh, OpenShot needs a lot of improvement. It's almost there. I would like to move away from KDenLive specifically just because it's a K environment versus the GNOME environment and it just kind of clashes and look. I know it's kind of shallow, but I would like to do that. Plus, it'd probably be lighter weight. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Everything else I'm really happy with. Uh, <laughs> if those things were fixed, would you switch to Linux, assuming you don't... No, I guess it doesn't apply to me because I already switched to Linux. But, uh, alright, so uh, there I am answering these uh, questions 12 or 13. <laughs> I just wanted to share this little nugget of awesomeness with you here. Um, I was digging through my stuff and I found uh, this, the original 
Ubuntu is for naked people. This is the uh, first Ubuntu disc I ever received for their live disc program. Um, what I thought was cool about it is uh, the progression that Ubuntu Linux has made over other Linux distros. When I first got it, it came with a install disc and a live wait, install disc and a live disc. They were separate because they couldn't they didn't know how to fix them together. You couldn't install off the live. You could either experiment with the live or and install the regular system. So each, each build had their own disk. And to my knowledge, I don't think they had a 64-bit version yet. Um, but yeah, I mean, they've come a long way in the last few years. This is uh, 2004 right here. So it's like six years of using Ubuntu. Before I used Ubuntu, I was using... Uh, Mandrake, or I think they changed the name to Mandriva right right around the same time this came out. Um, and uh, this was like a big boost as a system versus like uh, what Mandriva was, or Mandrake, or however we want to say it. And this was also my first experimentation with a um, Debian-based OS versus a Red Hat-based. So... If anybody's from the old school Linux days, you remember what they called uh, dependency hell, where you couldn't install proj uh, package X because it required uh, all these different dependencies for some reason were not in your repository, and the program's like, don't know what to do. But, uh, yeah. A little trip down uh, memory lane for the older Linux users. So, <laughs> alright, peace.